Hey, I just want to show you guys how I deal with sharpening chains. So um, I've got my regular chainsaw that I do all of my wood cutting with uh, other than my processor saw. Um, so regular chainsaw is a Husqvarna. I get an 18 inch bar on it. And so I've got these, you know, standard, um, pretty small, you know, average size chains from what most people use for regular chainsaws. And then we got the processor uh, saw, which is massive, big three quarter inch chain, uh, huge, huge stuff. Um, and and those those got to be sharpened too. So uh, anyway, um, w with this, I I just I don't have a machine set up for for this big processor saw. So I'm just using a big file that's made for for that size of chain and uh, just sharpen it by hand. Uh, I know. Some people do have uh, grinders for them, so um, I I may get one eventually, or I may just end up getting ahead a few chains and then taking a couple at a time, three, four at a time to, to somebody. But um, with the chainsaw, what you're supposed to do, at least what I've always been told, is when you're out cutting with the saw, every tank of gas, sharpen your chain. No, no, no excuses, just sharpen your chain every tank of gas. Well. I don't have, I, I, I used to do that. Um, but for me, I just, I feel that to stop and sharpen the chain is really inefficient. Um, it takes, you know, I don't know what it takes five, 10 minutes to, to sharpen it. I always feel like, um, I, one way going, going one way, I'm left-handed, um, and going from the left side, I feel like I do a good job. Then I flip the, the saw around. I try to go from the other side. I don't feel like I'm doing as good of a job. Um, you're always, you could be off on the angle a little bit. So it, it's, uh, it's not as good a job and it takes time. You got to stop. So if I'm cutting wood and uh, I, I'm in the middle of, of cutting, uh, say, you know, three, say three cord, three, four cord of popple in a day and that's you know a few hundred dollars worth of wood is it really worth stopping to sharpen a saw every every tank of gas for uh, a 25 dollar chain so what i do is i go a couple tanks of gas and when the chain starts cutting to where it you could tell it's it's not as efficient as it is when it's when it's new and sharp i take it off and i put a brand new chain on and every time that happens, I get start to get dull. I go, I take that off. I put another brand new chain on and you say, well, that's crazy. Cause you're paying 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks uh, a pop. But I take every one of those chains and I save them. And so here's a whole pile of, I don't know how many are in here, probably 15 or 20 chains. And, uh, when, when I get enough of them ahead, uh, you know, now I've got kind of a rotation and I got this sharpener. I used to have one just like this. Um, I, I no longer have that. I just bought this one. Um, it's the same thing. It's a very cheap, uh, but very easy to use, uh, sharpener. And, uh, I, now I just get a batch of chains all, you know, set aside. And then all at once I'll sit down and spend a couple hours just sharpening them all. And so now I'm going to have like 20 chains that I can just keep rotating through. So I kind of like that. It seems to work pretty good for me. Um, if you're not familiar with this thing, this sharpener, um, this particular brand is the cheap Chicago electric. I got it from Harbor Freight. I think I paid like $29 for it. So, uh, they're really cheap. They're easy to use basically just a grinder, a four and a half inch, uh, grinding wheel, um, plugs in, and you have a mount here that's uh, very much like your chainsaw bar. Uh, you have a, this mount sets on kind of a pedestal and you unscrew uh, a thing on the bottom here and you can change the angle depending on what angle you wanna sharpen at. So as you, this is coming down, if I, I these are all marked uh, between zero degrees and 35 degrees. So uh, I think I'm, I've been going about 30 degrees on, on these chains. And so um, as this comes down, you, I just bring that over to the 30. I tighten it up and this is going to come down at the face of uh, the tooth on the chain. 
at just the right angle. Um, this is a little catch and you can adjust this catch forward or backwards depending on how far you want to bite into the tooth to sharpen. And this just rotates uh, down, loosen that up a little bit. This rotates down and you go until you catch onto the next tooth. Zoom, sharpen that, go to the next one. Zoom, sharpen that. You do every other tooth that's facing in that angle. And then when you get done, you spin it over uh, to 30 degrees on the other side. And then you do the other ones that you skipped the last time and you got your angle the other direction just right. You don't have to change, move the chain or anything. Works pretty slick. So we'll fire this thing up. There's a button on the top. Uh, this is like a bicycle brake. Uh, basically all that does is when you squeeze it, it squeezes these two plates together to hold the chain tight while you're sharpening it, just so it makes sure it's straight and it's being sharpened at the right angle. So we're tight against there, we're tight there. And you just continue on all the way through, finish the chain. So pretty simple. I mean, for a guy like me that I'm not really that uh, good with fine detail, it's pretty quick and easy. And uh, I, yeah, works pretty good for, for 30 bucks. Uh, you can't beat it. The thing is bench mounted. I just put a couple screws down into the bench. And when I'm done and I want to get it out of my way, I'll just pull it back off. So yeah, that's that.